everyone, so I'm going to show you how I painted this colourful giraffe. This is a sped up version, but if you want the full length tutorial, just go to the link in the description of this video. So I'm just starting out by painting the first layer of the background. So I'm just painting yellow to the left hand side of the canvas, then moving on to oranges, pinks, and then purples and blues on the right hand side where it will be darker. Okay, so I'm just moving on to the second layer of the background now. If you're really happy with how your first layer came out, you don't need to do another layer of the background. Personally, I just like to add some texture in. To create this texture, I use um, quite a lot of paint, quite thick paint. and I just put it onto the canvas using my fingers, just using the same colours that I used on the first layer of the background, just those yellows, oranges, pinks and purples. So now I'm just starting on the first layer of the giraffe. This layer is basically just to block in the colours, figure out where the lights and the shadows are going. My first layers always come out really messy, but it's fine because we're going to come in over the top with another layer. For the spots of the giraffe, I'm just using a light brown. Then when we get into the darker side of the neck, I'm going to move on to dark pinks and purples. So with the face, I'm just using the same colours that we used with the neck, just using the lighter yellows on the left hand side of the canvas, moving to the darker colours on the right hand side. Throughout the painting, I'm really focusing on where the light is hitting the giraffe and what areas of the face are going to fall into the shadows. To paint the spots on the face, I'm just using the same colours that we used on the neck. Just a range of light browns moving to pinks and purples. For the eyes, I find the best thing to do is just look at as many reference photos as you can. Try and find some really close up photos of giraffe's eyes and look at those, it's just the easiest way to paint them. It just means you can really see the details. I'm also creating some separate tutorials on how to paint animals' eyes, so it'll be helpful to check out those as well. So now I'm just moving on to the second layer of the giraffe. This time I'm using a slightly smaller brush and I'm using the same colours that we used in the first layer but I'm just neatening everything up. Another thing I like to do on the second layer is just to really increase the contrast, so just darken the shadows and lighten the lights. Just continue using the same technique until you've completed the rest of the second layer. If you like this video and want to see more like it, just make sure you subscribe to my channel.